Good morning, all my fellow fitted out, packing, outfitted, patriots. You know, if I was writing a story on this subject, I would either call it good guys with guns or possibly friendly fire. Let's go on to see what ABC says about this. Grieving dad of Florida mass shooting victim interrupts news conference. Two died and 23 remained in critical condition after 23 were shot on Sunday. There's many questions about this shooting. I'm going to ask a few of them that the legacy media can't seem to get their minds wrapped around. Let's go on with this story from ABC for just a little bit. A Florida mayor is begging the public to help these killers off the streets after a mass shooting outside a banquet hall in suburban Miami. 23 people were shot, including two fatally, early Sunday morning at the El Mula Banquet Hall in Hialeah, Florida, where a local rapper was celebrating his birthday. You know, I have seen many different ways that describe this event. I've heard it described as a rap concert. Now I see it described as a birthday party. I've also seen it described as a dance hall. This young rapper threw a concert, which he also called a birthday party. Let's go on. Now take a look at this, I guess it's a bullet point. 100 bullets fired in mass shooting that left two dead, 20 injured at Florida Birthday Bash. Keep that in mind, over 100 bullets fired. That's going to become important later on. Now here's something that you've got to, as you can see, go pretty deep into the story to find out. Police said they believe the shooting, carried out by three gunmen, also that's not quite accurate, that we're going to see later on, was motivated by an ongoing rivalry between groups. The gunmen waited outside the banquet hall for about 40 minutes and then opened fire on patrons as they left, Ramirez told ABC News on Sunday. Some patrons returned fire, Ramirez said, and over 100 shell casings were found at the scene. Have you looked at the video? Three men pull up in a white vehicle. They get out of the vehicle. It appears that the driver, to me anyway, was carrying a pistol. The other two men could have been carrying guns. The footage wasn't that good. They ran outside of camera range. They were in camera for only about three seconds. They were outside of camera range for about five seconds when they run back into camera range, pile into the vehicle, and get out. So, in this three or four seconds that they were outside of camera range, they unloaded a hundred plus bullets left two dead and injured 20 more? Doesn't make sense. It got my noggin to jogging. Did you notice that last sentence that I read? Some patrons returned fire. This is what I think really happened. This rival gang didn't like this rapper. Fair some of his rap songs that he made probably against the rival gang. They decided to pay him a visit. Unfortunately, when they got there and opened up, there were good guys with guns, in this case, the other rival gang. They weren't there to cause trouble, but they were damn sure there to make sure that if trouble was around, they were ready for it, and so they returned fire. 
100 casings. Do you really think that three men in three or four seconds left 100 bullet casings? I'm figuring they left, well, like the police said, maybe 24, 30 shots. So the other 70 shots came from return fire. Now this return fire wasn't directed. In fact, probably most of these weapons were unregistered since this was an act between rival gangs. How many of these 23 people that were wounded or were either one of these two people that were shot dead the victim of friendly fire? Here's one last thought to think about. The video released by the police just shows the vehicle pulling up, the men barreling out of the vehicle, firing their weapons, and returning to the vehicle. This was obviously taken from the security footage of this banquet hall. Now, if they've got outside cameras, they have more than one, and surely they have inside cameras. I'd be interested to see that other footage, wouldn't you?